Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a little experiment we're going to do. We're going to test some top coats over stamping to see which ones smear and which ones don't. Um, I ended up pulling out all of my top coats, um, and I'm doing this for a friend of mine. Desandra asked me to, you know, help her find something that wasn't going to smear her stamping design. So, Desandra, thank you for the suggestion. Today I've started off, I've put some clear coat down. Um, I used the, just the Miracle, or the Super Dry from the Dollar Tree, and, you know, so that my stamping would have something to stick to. And I stamped a black and a white feather on all of these little spots. And I did that with the Queen stamping polishes, because that's what DeSondra said she was using um, and having trouble with. And this is in Super Tense Pure White. And the super intense blackjack from Queen. I don't normally use Queen very much on my channel, um, but I had them, and I thought they would, they would, since these were the ones she was having trouble with, that I would go ahead and use them. Now I have, I think, 18 top coats to try for you. I know it sounds a little excessive, but over the years, I've um, sometimes you get free top coats when you order stuff and. Then I would hear somebody talk about something and think, oh, I've got to try that. And, I mean, we all know my go-to is Posh. And I also like the Pure Ice Girl on the Run. So we're going to definitely try some of my favorites. And then we're going to try some that have been bought and tried and not loved. And actually, there are a few in here that I bought and or I got free because I bought, you know, something else and never even tried. So we're going to give these a shot today. I'm going to start down here on the first one, and I'm going to use some posh top coat. And I am going to let it kind of be a thick coat like I would normally do, floating the top coat over them. And the posh does not appear to have streaked or messed it up at all. The next one we have here is Shesh Feet. Another favorite of a lot of people, so we're going to do the same with it. And I know this video might end up being a little long, but, you know, in the name of science. Now this sesh feet is looking a little thick because I haven't used it in a while. But I am just floating it over and I didn't get any streaking or smearing with that one. <clears throat> And I will zoom in and we'll go through them again here in just a minute. Um, but to get them in frame, I wanted to be able to, you know, have them backed out. This one is called Wow, It's Dry. And I got this one at um, Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, it smells like pepper. It's kind of a funky smelling top coat. And we're going to do that one. And that one doesn't look like it's smeared either. Now, I don't know how quickly it dries, because um, it didn't seem, to, with the time I used it, it didn't seem to dry super duper fast. The next one is Zoya Anchor, and this one I've had for a while. Um, it used to be one of my favorites. So, we're going to try that one. And it's one of those I have to tilt, because it's almost used up. That one appears to have done really well, too. No smearing. Next, I've got this OPI top coat, and I don't know that it's anything special. Let me flip it over and see. It just says OPI top coat. It's kind of a clear, almost light purple, maybe light pink. And we're going to give this one a go. Nope, no smearing on that one. <clears throat> Very cool. And this next one is China Glaze's No Chip Top Coat. Some of these I have no idea why I have them. But, you know, if I bought them, I kept them. Okay, that one didn't smear either. Kind of surprised. The next one I have is this huge bottle of Out the Door. Um, my favorite thing about the Out the Door is that the brush goes pretty much to the bottom of the bottle. And we're going to do that one right here. And I did not get any smearing with it. So sweet. So, let's do some zooming in. 
might have to be moving the camera around some. But you can see there's there's not any smearing on any of those. So all of those were pretty good candidates. Um, that one's kind of hard to see because of the light down here on the end. Cover some lights up. And, but it didn't smear. Um, okay, so next we're gonna I'm gonna open up some more <laughs> some more top coats and we're gonna do another row. I'll be right back. Zoom back out some. I'm sorry. Yeah, just a second. There we go. Okay, the first one I'm going to try here is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry um, Anti Chip Top Coat. This used to be a favorite back in the day. Okay, I didn't get any smearing with that one. Kind of surprised. <laughs> And then the next one here is the Pure Ice Girl on the Run. Now, I don't know how this is going to fare here. We're going to give it a try. But I know in my real life, um, I have to be very careful with it. And I have to put a lot of the product on the brush and make sure to be very careful floating the top coat over my design. Because I have had smearing with this one. But I wanted, in all fairness, I wanted to be able to use all of them. And surprisingly, here today, it did not smear. <laughs> so, there you go. The next one I have is this one from Essie in the Twisted Bottle. Um, and it's just this top coat. Nothing fancy. Let's see if there's something different on the bottom. It says OO Top Coat. So, that's, that's what Essie... And this one's already a little smeared from... Um, I got some acetone kind of splashed on it, but I can see where it's already smeared and we're just going to go over it. And I didn't get any smearing from that one. So far, I'm really kind of tripping that all of these have done so well. I was expecting some smear some smearing. And this next one is from um, CND. I don't even have any clue. And this is Top Coat Air Dry Fast Set. So, I've never used this one. We're going to give it a shot today. I think a lot of times with um, stamping, you just have to have a lot of the product on your brush. And um, you might have to reapply, reload that brush. The next one here we have is Look, and this is Gel Like Top Coat. This one you might be able to find at like Rite Aid or wherever they sell Look Polishes. Oops, I got real wonky with that one. So that one did not smear either. And then we have another look top coat, and this is the look quick dry top coat. And if you get so much, um, and that one did great too, if you get a lot of, um, you know, top coat on your brush and it ends up flooding over into your cuticles, you just, you know, take your orange wood stick and kind of scoop it out and it'll roll some more over in there and you just scoop it out some more until it stops kind of spreading over the nail. I know that I'm really bad about over overdoing it. Um, and this one is from Conad and I didn't even know I had this one. And it's their, um, it just says Conad top coat on it, nothing special. So here we go. And Conad is one of the first stamping polishes and plates I ever bought, so maybe I got it way back when, but it did not smear either. So far we're like, you know, 14 for 14, they've all done really well. The next ones I have are um, maybe a little hard to buy, a little harder to find. I've got the Super Chick Lacquer, and this is the Liquid, liquid Macro Top Coat, I'm sorry. Um, I got it when I bought a whole bunch of Super Chick Lacquer polishes, I went through it in my basket also. And I only use it when I use their polishes. So, um, And it did not smear either. So, good job. This one I know came with a kit. And this is New Bar's Diamond Seal and Shine Top Coat. I have never used it. So we're going to give it a try.
Okay, that one did excellent also. And this next one is from Eliana's collection. And if you've watched my channel for a while, you know I love her polishes. And this is what started it. Um, I had to try this top coat. And who, who, this was from Judinka Nail Art is the one that got me hooked on this. She just used this top coat all the time and kept talking about it, so I had to get it. And then, of course, I got hooked on the polishes as well. So let's try Eliana's top coat. Nope, no smearing on that one. This is just wild. And for laughs and giggles, I wanted to try a water-based top coat. Now, I've got Little Ondine, their, um, their water-based top coat. And I also have one from Pitcher Polish called Revolution. But I, I believe most of these are very similar, um, if not the same totally. So I wanted to try a water-based top coat and um, give, you, give you a chance to see that. Now what would be nice about the water-based top coat is you put it on first and let it completely dry and then use your regular top coat. So as you can see, that one also did not smear. Um, I could zoom in and let y'all see these a little better. Cleaning up a mess here. Just a second. And, but I'm, I'm just telling you, none of them smeared. It was absolutely amazing. I cannot believe it. Um, I tell you what, let me get this mat to where I can pick it up and we will, we will, um, show them better that way. Hang on. Okay, here we go. I'm going to get these up close and personal so you can see them very well. This first one is Posh. The second one is Sush Feet. The third one here is, wow, it's dry. The next one here is, um, from Zoya's Ink, uh, Armor. Then we have the OPI top coat, the China Glaze No Chip top coat, and then finally down here on the end, we have the Out the Door. I'm just amazed. I'm just totally amazed. Now next, on the second row here, we have the Sally Henson and the kind of orangey bottle, the Insta Dry top coat. Then we have Pure Ice Girl on the Run. The next is the Essie the Contour OO top coat. Then we have the CND top coat. One, two, three, four. And then next we have the look the gel like finish top coat. And then the look regular fast dry top coat. And finally the Conad top coat. Now down to the bottom row. We have the Super Chick Lacquer. We have the New Bar top coat. Then we have Eliana's collection. And then finally, the water-based top coat. Now, I don't know if I just got lucky today. I mean, we all know how sometimes things can be finicky. Sometimes things work great, and you don't have ever have any more trouble out of them. But that is my test for today. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, leave me a comment down below and let me know which top coat you use when you stamp. I'm curious. You know, I might need to add one more or two more top coats to my ridiculous collection here. <laughs> but leave me a comment and let me know what you have found that works really well. Um, I know there are tons more top coats out there, and so I just sampled today what I had. I would like to thank Desandra again for requesting this video. That is all I have for you today. Until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.